All right, everyone, how are we all doing? We're back again today with another cat review. Oh boy, do we have an interesting one today. So before we start, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe with the notifications on. Let's aim for 50 likes on this one and share it with someone who may be interested as well. Now then, minding my own business in lockdown, thinking of some videos to make, and then suddenly I get messages from you lot telling me about a new big cat sighting. I haven't seen anything on my usual Facebook pages, but I get linked another one. It's run by someone called Sharon, and it's been a thing since 2012. Sharon seems to have built something good here, though. It was actually nice to go onto one of these pages and not be flooded with Doreen's cat down the road. Before I go on, I just want to point out that I've actually DM'd Sharon about being interviewed for the channel, because I'd like to have a chat with her. Uh, she's chosen to ignore the DM, and I've actually commented to her as well. She's ignored that. So if you're watching, Sharon, I'd love to interview you for the channel. If you'd like to come and have a chat, then shoot me a message. So we're going to do this with the comments that she's put onto the post with the pictures that I'm about to show you. Anyway, on April 19th, Sharon took to her page to post three pictures that she received from an anonymous lady. Okay, these photos were taken recently by a lady whose work takes her out into the countryside. Now, I promise not to give out a location of this cat as we don't want it being hunted and killed. She kindly allowed me to post these photos for us all to see. This has to be some of the best photographic evidence up to date, maybe not our panther but this is one of the smaller big cats thank you to the lady i spoke to tonight and kindly let me share those excellent photos right then so let's look at the three pictures here's picture number one here's picture number two here's picture number three feel free to pause on any of those if you want to have an extended look for yourself now i'm not gonna lie i like the look of them on the initial look Cat review, 8 out of 10 so far. It looks to be big with an unusual face and markings. Sharon commented on the post about the cat saying, The cat was described by the witness as muscular and the size of a collie. So we're looking at a collie sized cat. Collies aren't big. I measured mine in the last cat review. But they are a little bit bigger than your average domestic house cat. Could this be a domestic house cat though? She hasn't given a location so I asked if there were any houses nearby. She said no. That's not ruling this out to be a domestic or a domestic turned feral though. Now the OG of you lot will remember on my channel last year i managed to capture this thing what was it well we concluded it to be a feral dog two were spotted about a stone's throw away from the trap a few weeks later so i think what i'm saying is it's a possibility and well yeah this cat looks to be quite large you don't have anything to scale it against yet also the quality isn't great again and the picture is pixelated it's the best one i've seen for this sort of thing though and i'm going to completely rule out a photoshop job the quality isn't great because it's been zoomed in on probably by a phone and it's also in a dark area with lots of branches i can let them off for this and genuinely this is better than anything jonathan mcgowan has ever produced if this turns out to be a dog with a cat mask on its head it's still better than jonathan mcgowan stuff sharon also commented what she thought the animal appeared to be in the pictures either a caracal or young puma so we're going to go back to picture one you can't really see a tail in this picture but what we can see is with a very zoomed in and pixelated photo now is big ears with maybe a slight tuft on them but honestly it's that hard to see now i don't know about tufts so for me, that would completely rule out a caracal because those things have got ears like satellite dishes and then tufts even longer. Eurasian lynx though, they've got big ears, small tufts. The problem with it being a lynx though is they don't really have a tail. It's more of a stump. In these pictures, we can only see what appears to be a slight small tail, which could be a stumpy thing. Who knows? According to the person who took the pictures though, she also thought lynx, but said the tail was too long. So then, could it be a puma? No. Just straight up. No. In the original post, Sharon said this may be not our panther, but it is definitely a small big cat. Pumas are not a small big cat. They are a big, big cat. They are bigger than leopards. I don't think people understand the size of pumas, or if they do, they sort of underestimate how big they are. This for me isn't a puma or a cub. It doesn't look right for me at all. It just, it just doesn't look like one. Take a look at this video, for example. That thing is gigantic. Okay, so so far, I've ruled out Caracal and I've ruled out Puma. Those for me are a no. They just don't fit in with what he's being looked at. Comments were flying in left, right and centre for these pictures and people were suggesting maybe it's a jungle cat. Some Someone even said it could be an African gold cat. Uh, some I swear I saw someone say it could be a bay cat, which is uh, super rare from where it's from. So if it was here... I'd be amazed. And other people mention exotic pets or even hybrids of domestics and exotics and just 
all sorts really now on my initial reaction having seen these pictures and taken a quick look i was unsure i thought yeah this is exciting it looks good but as you see further on down the line i'll explain to you what my thought process was in the end one thing that also crossed my mind was that in picture one there seems to be something on the left a green metal pole looking thing and some white stuff on the bottom of the picture what are those We'll leave that as a question for now. So we've got a bit of an update in the previous cat review. This thing that was definitely not a big cat, judging by the size of the bricks. We have an update for that, and it was uh, it was the neighbour's cat. And that was it. The end. I personally feel like whoever took that picture sent it to the papers for an easy cash grab. They got their job well done. And I genuinely feel like with the sensationalism that news articles can produce with this sort of stuff, people, as soon as they see something that looks a bit dodged, they think, yep, papers. Cacola. Thank you. Back to this one, though. And Sharon has updated us with more photos. Pictures to give us a size comparison. Thank you for the update. Here is the place where the cat was seen. There are no measurements as yet, as this lady was at work and had to be elsewhere. But this gives you an idea. So we haven't got measurements because apparently the lady needed to be elsewhere. Now, I wonder where she could have gone to not get measurements. Maybe news outlets it's annoying but it is what it is and hopefully some measurements at some point will come to us so we can properly judge what is in this picture i'm not gonna hold my breath though now that's not me sitting here discrediting everything that's already in this video now that's me the pessimist trying not to get excited about something where we've been let down for in the past quite a few times as well actually so if measurements do come then that is great we can go from there but for now Let's see what we can extract from this. So that green thing that I mentioned, we have an answer for that. It's like a power box of some sort or a server box. There's a manhole cover, another shed looking thing with a door, but nothing we can really extrapolate in terms of measurements. I mean, yeah, the manhole cover may be, but they come in different shapes and sizes. I mean, I've got one in my garden. It's circular and at its longest, it's 53 centimeters. If we're going to look at this picture here, with everything in shot, I don't see this cat being as big as that manhole cover. Also, in the pictures, we can see a branch going across the screen. We can also see the cat next to a tree trunk of some sort. And in the follow-up pictures, we can still see the branch and the trunk. The tree trunk doesn't look far away from the green box things, and the branch isn't high off the ground at all. Now, that would signal to me, whatever this cat is, it isn't big. And it definitely isn't a puma. And if I'm being totally honest with you guys, I don't think this is a lynx either, just through the sheer size. And I think it's at this point where we've got these pictures that I think now this isn't a wild cat at all. I just don't think it's big. Looking at what has been pictured here for us, it's just not. There is potential for this to be an exotic pet that may have escaped or something. Or it could be a feral cat. And as I've mentioned earlier in this video, that is entirely possible. And I honestly believe if this was the real thing, we'd 100% know straight away. Especially if it was a puma. We'd look at that and think, oh my god, there it is. It's a puma. Also, I know three pictures is better than one and whatever. But if you've got to this point where you're taking photos... Why not do a video? That's hands down better proof and evidence. You can properly gauge an animal's size, especially if you were this close. I don't know. It's just not adding up to me. I know some of you in the comments will be like, don't want to disturb the animal or something. But come on now. If you want the hard proof, then just get it. So I think that's going to be my verdict. It's not a puma and I don't think it's a wild cat either. But if someone was pointing a gun to my head and asked me to pick a wild cat... I'd probably say links, and I'd definitely get shot as well. <laughs> so I think this in this picture is a domestic cat or an exotic pet that may have escaped or it's found itself in an area where it shouldn't be. And that's it. As far as this whole thing goes, though, it's the best I've seen without a doubt. But we're going to wait and see if there's any more updates to this. A genuine 8 out of 10 for the cat review. We actually don't get those very often. Okay, so as we come to the end of the video, um, I'm just going to point out as well, since scripting this last night to coming to this morning and recording the video, it's found itself onto the sun. It's found itself in other news outlets as well. That makes me question whether this is actually real or not. And it also makes me question... Are we going to get any measurements for this? From what started off as a secretive thing from an anonymous viewer has now turned into what usually happens. People go public to the news outlets and it looks like it could be 
a quick cash grab. See you later. Thank you very much. Anyway, get your comments in the comment section down below. What do you think this is? Do you think I've missed anything? Do you think I'm totally wrong? I'd like to know what you think. Also, if you haven't watched me before, then make sure you press that subscribe button and stick those notifications on. It might as well be fully subscribed if you're going to do it. Also, you can check out the Big Cats of Britain playlist on my channel for more Big Cats. Don't forget to like this video. We're going to aim for 50 likes on this one. Now, that would be a madness. Also, share this with your nan and your neighbour, but do it at a social distance. I've been Cookie. This was the Big Cat of Cumbria. Thank you for watching Cat Review, and I will see you next time. Don't be a Craig.